I hope Papers here to move it from Team Reflector CIC and thanks to our lovely sponsors at Arc Cinemas. We've been invited down to Arc Cinema Hucknall to the premiere of After Sun, a, a wonderful indie film that is reportedly about mental health and of course we are the mental health movie makers so that fits quite nicely. And one of its child stars is a local young lad from Hucknall itself as well and so Mark and the wonderful team down at Arc Cinema Hucknall are putting on a red carpet premiere. Which includes some lovely fizz on the way in, bit of bit of photography, a bit of uh, mingling with the actors and then a bit of a Q&A session just before the film starts as well. So uh, let's go and find Mark and find out a bit more about it, shall we? There he is. Hello. How you doing? All right. Not bad. How you doing? Um, left hand shake because That's right, right hand is, is is yeah. Uncouth. It's not. It's you weird. Isn't it? the image, so it looks like a right hand handshake. Yes. Okay. We can do that. Right, Very well. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Really excited for tonight. Really. Um. You know. It's a pleasure when a local talent makes a film that, well, not only makes a film, period, but makes a film that, you know, is scooping up awards all over the world, let alone country. You know, picked up an award at the Cannes Film Festival. Scooped up seven awards at the British Independent Film Awards on Sunday night, just gone. Um, you know, and it's, it's rumoured to pick up some Oscar nominations, which is just phenomenal. So, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to, to do this, this event, yeah. And give it another, what do you reckon, guys? About eight months? Yeah, about eight months. Okay. You'll be doing it for our films as well, so. Cannot uh, wait. You know. Cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and have a look, shall mingle, we? Have a mingle, have a mingle. Have a mingle. So the, so the, must be. Yeah, go on, was that? So I was going to say, the young lad that's in the film, Brooklyn, who's in the film they're watching tonight, this is his father, Reese. Hello, Reese. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Good, 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 yeah. Hold on, lad. He came here as a youth. Absolutely, yeah. What sort of films did you watch here when you were a kid then? Oh, everything. Everything. Um, what a... What, dance, cats and dogs, Men in Black, Jungle Book. Oh, my God. Men in Black, we're showing our age there, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got asked for ID, The Matrix. No way. Yeah, I had to that was over 12. <laughs> I've only 11 at the time. Brilliant. But yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's been fair. I'm glad it's back, to be honest. I'm glad it's back. It's great. It's all thanks to this man. I do like that. I do like that. It's premiere here. He filled two screens. We sold that many tickets. Nice. Actually, yeah, I remember that premiere, yeah. yeah. Sadly, everyone, I couldn't come because, you know... We, yeah. we weren't BFFs back then. We, uh, we were Sorry. Well, we, we, were, we, we were in negotiations at the time. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight. Good evening. Welcome to our, uh, you know, special screening of the movie After Sun, which I've been personally really looking forward to for a long, long time. Uh, but it's not about me. We are here mainly for uh, Brooklyn, who's sat next to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, this film is um, you're probably all aware is you know picking up awards at film festivals all over the world. In you know, I was going to say country, but all over the world, it's. Um, it's hotly tipped for Oscar nomination, maybe, who knows, in the future, who knows. Um, so, we, you know, we would have shown it anyway, I've been really excited, but the fact that one of its stars is from Hucknall is just mad. So we'd be stupid not to get him here and just do something like this. Uh, it's only the second sort of event like this we've ever done, actually, so Brooklyn. Um, so tell us, uh, when did you get into acting? What inspired you to get into it? How did it all start? I got into acting when I was about, I think, 10. I went to television workshop, which was a really good experience, and they've got me loads of jobs and roles, which actually got me this movie. And yeah, it's been incredible. Where, where is that? Uh, the television workshop, it's just in Nottingham, and I think they're in Manchester now as well. What gave you the drive to decide, you know, I'm going to go do it? Mostly in school plays. Okay. So in school plays, I used to get all the main roles, and uh, my teachers used to tell me I was doing a really good job. And uh, it might actually my mum or that recommended me to um, go to television workshop and it's the best decision I've done to be fair. Can I ask you who is your inspiration? Um probably all my family. That's amazing. And my friends. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that answer. <laughs> um what else are you into other than acting? Going to fire smashes. <laughs> <laughs> you <You're> it! <laughs> Brilliant. Um what attracted you to begin a career as an actor? What was the main attraction? Just watching the movies and seeing how good they are. Now, obviously, I want to be there and create them. 
do, do you remember the day that you uh, you realised you had a passion for acting? Was there a, was there a certain moment? Um, I think the day I properly like figured out I wanted to do acting is when I got the the job. This job. And I was at my artist job. Oh uh, yeah, I was at my artist house, and I sat there in the living room, and um, I got the role. Hear my mum screaming. Wow. And yeah, I was very very happy. Is she here tonight? Yes. Yeah, hey. Wow. Um. This is a question then. How do you balance, this is a question I wonder about young actors all the time, how do you balance school work with acting? How does that work? Well, I think all my teachers are very, very supportive about it, so it's very, very good to have a school like that. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, I love it because I got a bit of time off school as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, okay, so how is your experience working in the industry so far? It's incredible, especially for my first role working with like, really good actors like Kieran who's there. And um, Paul Mescal, Francesca Corio, all the, like, the mint. I didn't realise how popular Paul Mescal was, but we've got a couple of staff working tonight who are well aware of him and love him and, you know, think... The next best thing it will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, how are you feeling about the success of the film? Oh, it's crazy. I didn't think it'd be this good. Thought it would be all right, especially because it's just my first film. But it's winning loads of awards. It's, it's mental. <laughs> You, all your films might not be as successful as this, just so you know. Um, are friends and family treating you differently because of the success of the film? My friends are treating me the same, to be fair. They're just, um, obviously, they're all happy, to be fair, I think. And hopefully, my, hopefully my family is proud. I think they are yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, uh, you say this is your first sort of role, but have, have you done any acting work before this? Oh, you, not at all. Really? Nothing at all. Wow. What a, what a first role then. So how did it come about then? How did you end up starring in this film? What, what was the process? Did you get a, did you have to do an audition or? So I got an email from Television Workshop and I uh, went down to Television Workshop and did the audition. And um, yeah, just got the role. <clears throat> did the director give, what sort of notes did the director give you in terms of what they expect you from this role, you know, this character? What, did they give you any direction? She was very, very nice and very, very warm and um, she said, if you're struggling, you can't remember your line, right. just to say what you'd think you'd say. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, and it just, obviously, you'll see in a minute, they, um, it worked <laughs> quite good. Did, <laughs> <laughs> did you ask, um, the biggest challenge about taking on this role, then, do you think? Uh, oh, I can't spoil that bit. Uh, kissing scene. Yeah, yeah, I go kissing scene, yeah. Oh, that really? Was all, all yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's very, very late as well, it's very, very tired. Let's all make sure we cheer when that comes on the screen. Right? Um, how long was the shoot? Where, it was Turkey, was it, Phil? Yeah, I was in Turkey. I was there for about three weeks. And yeah, it was the best experience of my life. That must have been really tough for you. Not. So the character you play in the film, um, how how different is the character to you in real life? I won't say it's different at all. No? Yeah. Only thing, I won't go in for a kiss like that. <laughs> <laughs> Too, too I can't wait to see that now. <laughs> you filled that up pretty, pretty big now. Um, so obviously your first major role, and what a role it is. What, uh, what lessons have you learned from this experience that you, you might take forward into the next one? Don't listen to what people say. Just, um, just have a good path, and when you get there, it's the best thing ever. Do you think? Uh, can I ask you what actors or directors that you look up to? Uh, uh, actor wise, I'd say Adam Sandler. I really do like him. Like, every, all of his movies are mint. Favourite? What's your favourite? Oh, favourite. Testing. Yeah. Very nice. I like Blended. Blended? Blended's got a whole. That's one of my wife's favourites, yeah. <laughs> and uh, directors? Director, I've got Charlotte Wells. Okay, good answer. <laughs> good answer. Um, if you had a magic wand, what, what show, what film would you like to do next? If you could star in anything coming up, what, what would it be? Show. Uh, I probably go for something like the in between. This, to be fair. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in uh, in the next five years? What would you like to go on to do in the next five years? Uh, just sort of anything, anything at all to do acting wise. I love it. So this is giving you giving you the bug. You've not. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah, the amount of confidence you off. it's gave me is mental. That's great. Um, so your journey then, in terms of this film specifically, and you know the journey it's been on in terms of all the awards circuits and Cannes Film Festival, all that sort of thing. Um, you must have met some interesting people. Who's the most interesting person that you've met? Um, I have to go Paul Mescal. Yeah. Because he's so famous, but he's so nice. Like oh, yeah. the amount of tips he gave me and just. Oh really? He just, just very, very nice person. Great. And he's good to be around. And he's tip for big things, as you just said as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
So anybody that might be watching this footage uh, on YouTube or you know, people in the audience who might be thinking about getting into acting, what, what advice would you give, give them? Don't give up. You might not get a role for a couple of years and you, you might be a bit disheartened, but don't worry, because I think a lot of people have been there. Like I was been waiting for about four years. And now I've got this role and it's amazing. So just don't give up. And then um, as a film fan, to put your film fa fan uh, hat on for a minute. Uh, if anybody follows the Arc Cinema on social media, you'll see that we've been putting all the staff's uh, top five films of the year on. Uh, so what, what films released this year have impressed you? I haven't been watching that many films this year, to be fair. You've been busy acting in them, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go to the Black Phone, the horror oh, movie. Oh, yeah, good answer. I really did like that film. Yeah, that was good. And then the big question is, what's next? Um, I was going to sit at home, to be fair. <laughs> 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 um, Wait for yeah. the next email. <laughs> yeah. Are you you're already looking to audition for future roles and... Um... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to. I'm just going to... Charm and artist every single time to get it. Uh, anyone in the audience got a question for Brooklyn? This chap here, I'll his hand up. Right, Just shout it. Well, that's the first question about not even directors. I mean, I've already met one. I can't remember his name, to be honest, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, he was actually quite nice, but it's unfortunate I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that was very, very good, to be fair. And, yeah, I have been travelling about... Went to BFI Film Festival. Awesome, that must have been an experience. It was incredible, especially to me, all with all the cast again. Mm. It was a really good day. How long had it been since you'd seen them when you were at the film yeah. festival? Over a year. Wow. Yeah, so it was very, very long. And then the the yeah. drama school? Well, television workshop is like a drama school, to okay. be fair. It's wicked, but uh, when I get past the age of 21, I think I'm either going to hopefully go for an agent or um, go to a drama school. That's the that's what I'm thinking about yeah. then. Fair play. So should we crack on with it then? Yeah. yeah. Round of applause for <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. I'm honestly so excited to watch it. I love you. Love you. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Dad, you know, they're like kids. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? Mm. Sophie, they're like old. I think you'll ever move back to Scotland. No. Why? There's this feeling, once you leave where you're from, that you don't totally belong there again. You OK through there? Don't you ever feel like tired and down and feels like your bones don't work, like you're sinking? Hmm. We're here to have a good time, eh? You know, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything as you get older, you know? I've done it all and you can too. I wish we could have stayed for longer. Me too. <sighs> Thanks to Mark and the team at Arc Cinema Hucknall for being such gracious hosts, as always. A couple of days later, because... Uh, well, I needed a day to recover more than anything, I'll be honest with you. Um, that film was, well, in short, the film is amazing. Go and see it. Go and see it now. The way it handles being set, you know, in the past, I've had also some stuff in the future. Uh, and, and like, are you watching a memory or are you watching the real thing play out? In short, highly, highly recommend a film. Go and see it. Um, very well shot, executed, written, acted. Uh, the way it handles mental health, especially males, is absolutely incredible. What I would say from the Team Reflectors perspective, for those who don't know us, we are a production company 
owned and run by people with severe mental health diagnosis looking after people in the industry with a severe mental health diagnosis and um, being invited along to see it from that kind of perspective yes the uh, male mental health aspect of it was very well written um, clearly the director and writer and everyone or someone has had some really hands-on experience with that um, it was very realistic in its depiction and the way it was acted I mean Oscar nominations for you my man what a dude um, but like I say I would say to like our clients or anyone with mental health who what follows our social medias um, perhaps try and see it you know with a friend or a loved one or your carer or whatever um, I had Lizzie B with me so she's one of my safe people if you will and so I was fine because of that so I'd say you know just I mean it's not heavy on the mental health stuff it's more implied and that but um, if you've gone through it yourself like I have and I've gone through very similar things to the character in this film um, it just brought back some memories and stuff so you know your mileage may vary of course because you know every brought body and every brain is different right but that's it for this video um, thank you to our lovely sponsors at Arc Cinemas for inviting us along you guys are awesome as always information about Arc and the film can be found in the description below and if you're new here and you want to find out more about Team Reflector CIC and how we cope and help people with mental health who work in the film industry and the arts, then please do consider subscribing up here. And if you want some more BTS stuff, some, you know, how we make the films and, uh, you know, vlogs about day-to-day -day activities within Team Reflector, please consider having a look at the Moobit channel, which is my personal channel right here. Until next time, I've been Moobit, you've been Awesome Source, and I'll see you at the next video. ta -ra. Hey up, I'm Rory the Therapy Dog. Click here to watch a video I picked out just for you. Or check out our behind the scenes channel right here. And for every subscriber we get, I get a treat. So do it. Click it. Gravy bone.